Hi, I'm Jimmy Myers from Tampa Bay Athletics and the 10 Institute, and today we're going to go over the kettlebell swing. Wanted to make sure we hit this because I'm starting to see this a lot in gyms and a lot of people doing this at homes. There's a lot of people who are trying to utilize this exercise. It is a great exercise. It's just very dynamic, and we, so we have to make sure we do this properly. This is a great exercise. It should never get you injured unless you're doing it wrong. So really pay attention to the small points here. So when Allison picks up this kettlebell, a few things she's already focusing on before she starts. She's going to maintain a flat back throughout this whole position. Flat back, shoulder blade squeeze, shoulder blade squeezed, flat back. So when she starts swinging, all the power is coming from those hips. Notice her hips driving forward. She maintains flat feet into the ground, heels pressed into the floor. Those heels are always in the floor. If she's not feeling tension in those hamstrings, you can almost guarantee that she's getting too much bend in the knee or she's not pushing her butt back far enough. So once again, with a flat back, push her hips back as far as she can, squeeze her glutes powerfully to come forward. The arms are doing nothing. All she's doing is making sure they're locked out. We also want to make sure those hands and arms don't go too low. This is what we call too much daylight. She's going to give five swings where hands go below her knees. Notice how you can see right through her arms in between her legs. Those hands are too low. You never want that kettlebell to go below your knees. She goes back to doing good swings now. Hands stay above the knees. She can relax. It's got to be exhausting. So hands stay above the knees. Make sure, guys, when you do this, once again, start from the ground up. Heels are pressed into the ground. Shins are nice and vertical. Very little bend in the knees. Drive that butt back to get that great hamstring tension. That's where the power is coming from. Maintain a flat back, shoulder blades retracted, and keep those hands high between the groin.